This is a quick video we're going to make to show you the difference in camera gimbals between the DJI Phantom 3 Pro and also the Inspire. So as you can see, here's the, let me bring it in a little closer, here's the Phantom 3 Pro. Watch the image stabilization as I put this through extreme banks. As you can see, you get some of the rotors into that shot. But you can see it handles it pretty well. And I'm going full stick. But we wanted to test out the maximum parameters for the gimbal. This is the Phantom 3 Pro. So you can kind of get an idea of what kind of imagery you're going to get. Very, very stable. It's good craft. Matter of fact, last night, about 1 o'clock in the morning, I took this out for about a 30,000 foot flight. I'll show you the flight data recorder here in a second. Very stable craft. I was really amazed at the amount of clarity that this light bridge has for this Phantom 3. But in a nutshell, there you go. Phantom 3 Pro. Gimbal stabilization imagery. I know it's kind of bright and the glare is terrible. Hopefully you guys can make that out. And now we'll launch the Inspire and I'll show you the difference. And now we're going to launch the Inspire 1. So I'm going to put this through a couple of little paces. Watch the Im image stabilization with this gimbal. Yeah, I know most people don't fly it like this, but I want to show you. How superior that gimbal is to many other products that are out there. See, the one thing that you'll notice that if you're in full forward or even if you're just flying in high winds, when I go forward at full pitch, there's no blades in the picture. And that's because of the landing gears being folded away. So that's the one of the pluses that you get with the Inspire. And granted, most people aren't gonna be flying the Inspire like this, but I did wanna show you the differences in gimbals and also the agility that the Inspire has. Now, I think I've used this term once before. The Inspire is a jet plane and the Phantom 3 is a helicopter. So, uh, but I'm very impressed. I'll tell you the, the Phantom 3, I took it out last night. I'm going to show you the track uh, that it took. Uh, I took this thing out. Uh, I have to take a look again, but it was a long ways uh, before I started losing a little bit of video feed but the good part was is that I could still see it at least the LEDs barely but there you go there you see the video very stable guys very very stable And these are the quick release clip-on blades. The, the blades have been performing decent. Although I had over, uh, I think I had 1,200,000 some feet on the original set of screw-ons with no problems. The quick release, I decided to make a uh, change and do the quick release that they sent me. Um, I haven't had any problems yet, but 
that's a different video. We're going to talk a little bit about what I think of the uh, the quick release. But again, the, like I said, this is this is just my opinion. But I wanted to show you the difference in camera gimbals. And uh, let me pull up the flight of the Phantom 3 Pro, which I did early this morning about 1 a.m. So uh, it, the light bridge and distance on that was very impressive. It, it was right on par with the Inspire, which is truly something to... Uh, <laughs> it's a good selling point. So... I'll show you that in a second. All right, I, I want, here's the flight path that we did yesterday, or actually this morning. Um, you can see where I'm at right here. I'm over a golf course late at night, one in the morning. Um, but anyway, this distance is 7,815 feet when it just started to flicker on my uh, video. So I decided to spin it around. I didn't feel like going out there and hunting it down in a golf course. So I spun her around, but that's about where the Inspire starts to cut out. So that's pretty doggone impressive. This light bridge system is right on par. It's brilliant. Um, you know, 83% battery life, took it out 7,800 feet. That's, that's very good. So what do I think of the uh, Phantom 3 that's going to really set it apart from some of these others? That light bridge system and this pilot app. This pilot app if everything stays on par like it has so far, uh, DJI has hit a home run. Um, I haven't experienced any of the problems that I had on the Vision Plus. That doesn't mean that it's not going to happen here later on, but so far with the few flights that we've done, um, it's impressive. It's, it's, it's really something else. Uh, I'm not going to post a whole lot of difference in images because YouTube is flooded with different, different uh, people that have put up imagery on the uh, Inspire versus the 4K versus the uh, the Phantom 3 Plus uh, Professional and so forth. I'm just not going to inundate you guys with the same stuff. You can go on YouTube and I'm sure you already have and you can see the differences. Um, but what do I think about the range? Very impressive. This is unmodified. The controller is unmodified. I haven't touched a doggone thing just literally launched it out of a matter of fact we weren't even in an ideal location we launched it in in a driveway um, and took it right out over the golf course and just kept on going and it, it didn't stop so we thought we'd just kind of take it out and see how far we could go with uh, even with all these obstructions that were kind of around you know, hitting the the signal uh, and it still went out 7800 feet before we started getting a little bit of flicker and I decided to bring it back. So, Light Bridge, DJI, impressive. Uh, more stuff to come later. Take a look at my other videos on the other drones out there and other opinions. And please leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.